Meantime, nearly 24 hours after six people were gunned down in Chicago, people in East Garfield Park gather in the same spot tonight to send a positive message. Three of those victims are children, unintended targets of this drive-by shooting right here, which was captured on surveillance video. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar joins us live from Stroger Hospital, where one of the young victims is recovering. Charlie. Rob, good evening. Three sisters shot the oldest, just 15 years old. All the unintended target in what police are calling a gang shooting. Tonight, a community outreach group called Breakthrough is trying to do just that. A corner barbecue. You want ketchup on yours? I just Marks a new day in East Garfield Park. Purpose and sole purpose is this, to bring the people out and let them know, hey, feel secure. This is your community. Let's be safe. It's to spread love, to offer what we call food hugs. Positivity much needed on this corner of Walnut and Holman after six people were shot Sunday night, three of them children. Surveillance video shows the moment those bullets went flying. This family seen getting into their car, then a silver car pulls up. Someone starts shooting and keeps driving. The shooter's arm still out the window as the car turns the corner. It's unbelievable just the amount of trauma that our community suffers. I got a son and plus I on top of that I have a daughter too. So yeah, it worries me a lot. Three sisters shot the oldest just 15 all unintended targets. The three others shot are known to police. CPD says this area is a known gang territory. It's um, frustrating, of course. Uh, we know that there was a gang conflict over there earlier this month. Uh, we know that the people involved in the vehicle had absolutely nothing to do with the incident. I think that this single effort says that we are with you, that we are one, um, that there is hope, that things are never as bad as they seem. And that 14 year old is still here recovering tonight, last listed in critical condition. No rest have been made, but Chicago police plan on holding a community building event of their own on that same corner tomorrow night. We are live from Stroger Hospital, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Robin Erica.